I want to show you how to use Google Docs. So what you need to do is first to sign in your Google account. So I went to Google and click sign in and you can see I filled in my email address and password and click sign in. Okay. Now I need to click on Gmail. and then documents oh we'll do that later remind me later okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document and this time I want a spreadsheet go oh, it's slow tonight I tell you And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for storing my usernames and passwords um, in for any websites I go on to. So, um, username, passwords. Okay, so for example, let's get started here. Let's put in this one, Easy Internet Lessons 101 at gmail.com and oopsie and I'm going to put my password which is one two three four five six for example so that's a really really good way of storing all your passwords and because Google um, Docs is accessible wherever you can access your email account it means that if you go to someone else's house if you go on holiday if you go on abroad all you have to do is access your um, Google documents and the other thing I tend to find is, say for example, you haven't purchased a um, Microsoft Office or um, you've downloaded another web processing or spreadsheet package, you can use this one for free and it goes everywhere with you. So it means that any of your documents you can access at any time from anywhere, which is really, really useful. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly call this password sheet. Oops. And OK. And if you notice up here, it pretty much looks like Microsoft Office. You can bold, embolden things, you can change the size of the text, all the things you'd expect from Microsoft um, you know, um, Office Suite, but without the cost. You may also notice my password sheet is private only to me at the moment. But we can change that by clicking on Share here and then changing the sharing settings you try saying that after a drink or two so it means that if you um, say and obviously not your password sheet but say if it was a document you're writing a letter or, or something like that and you wanted to share it with a colleague you could change the sharing settings and they could edit it as well which is really really useful now quickly moving on I'm just going to show you the Google Calendar as well now I use the Google Calendar quite a lot because um, you know it means my I can let my manager or my boss if I had one see what I was up to what I was doing and they could monitor how busy I was and that sort of thing or you could do the same thing for somebody who works for you so all of this stuff is fine here continue and the good thing about this is you can actually run two calendars side by side so you can actually create a new calendar um, for two different jobs or two different roles and you can give people access to one but not the other one so you could have a private calendar you could have a work calendar whatever you wanted to do and it's really really handy because also color coded on your calendar just close that a second so if I go down to here say add I can create a second calendar so I'll put this one called personal and I'll leave all that stuff that's fine and oh, do, 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 create calendar so now I have two calendars I hope we'll be able to see two calendars yeah there's a look the blue one is my internet lessons one and my red one is a personal one so what I can do say I want to quickly put an appointment in here I can choose which calendar it comes under it's the internet lesson ones and I'll just put here busy oh dear spelling today right so I'm going to put in here coaching session and I can edit the event details which means if I don't like the time slot they've given me so for example here it says it's going to be seven o'clock till eight o'clock 
I can just click on here and make it or oh, six o'clock and here oh, two hours for example and if I'm happy with that I save it so now you can see it's in blue which is the color for the internet lessons calendar um, let's say I've got an appointment in the morning I'm gonna put um, birthday party um, Joe okay so it's a personal event so I can edit the event details and I can put some more information oh where is it um, church hall I can put a description if I want to I can set a reminder if I want to I can also say whether I'm busy or available for example my coaching one I might want to leave that as I'm available meaning that I've just taken the time out of my diary to allow to take coaching calls, that sort of thing. And then I can save. You can also choose, actually just before I save it, is to invite other people to the event as well. And all you do is you put in their email addresses and then they are invited to the event. So it's quite useful to do that. So if you notice the um, personal party here is in red and my work orientated session is now in blue. So it's quite interesting because you can colour code your diary to um, fit in with different events. If you look at the settings, you can actually then choose to share this calendar. So if I say share this calendar, um, I can put in here, it's where it says share with specific people, I can actually put in the email address of the person I allow to see this calendar. And you can also look at what sort of administrative properties that they can have as well so whether they can change it or just look at it that sort of thing which is really really useful okay so that's a brief overview of um, Google Docs and Google Calendar and as you can see they're very useful tools and like I mentioned before you can access them wherever you are as long as you can log in to your email you can access your calendar and you can access your documents. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.